lovely performance cars, you could call them. But uh, I guess looking at this one, this is probably the oldest one here today, I would think. And we've got John Dennis here, who is the owner of this Berlier. Hi, John. Berlier. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hello there. Uh, am I right in thinking this is the oldest one here today? It is the oldest one, yeah. Probably yeah. the oldest driver as well, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what year is this? Oh, 1907, the base chassis. Right. The engine is a Curtis OX5 aero engine, First World War, 1916. Um, but the base chassis, as I say, is 07. So it's a 1907 yep. basic car, which is the same year as Brooklyn's, of course, yeah, where indeed. we are at the moment. Yep, indeed. Um, In so fact, it's, its very first event it ever had was at the Centenary at Brooklands in 2007. Oh, was it? Right. So, let's go across the car, basically. So, we've got a 1907 chassis, yep. which is a Berlier chassis. It's Berlier chassis, yeah. Um, not sure whether or not it was a light commercial chassis or a heavy car chassis. Right. But I basically got a very bent, bent frame um as i say in about 2003 okay. when i retired and uh took it on from that yeah so where did where did you find it in the first place well the an enthusiast in south africa had i think believed that um he would get a collection of bits together and in one weekend he would have a he would have a special but in effect uh he just when he found he couldn't then um, he sold it to a dealer in Lancashire, um, and that's where I bought it, a load of bits, basically. Yeah, so it was in boxes. In effect, in boxes, yeah. yeah, a bit like in boxes, yes. It had a loose engine that had come out of an aircraft, um, but, uh, and quite a bit of the running gear was from, uh, as I say, from a Berlier of 07, but again, in loose bits. Right, so you basically stitched it all together. Yep, uh, yeah. The bodywork, the fabric. Bodywork, I did, yes, yeah. I did that, yeah. You, yeah. you fabricated that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a, a Curtis Aero engine. What sort of aircraft would that have? Worked? Probably, we're not sure, but probably in a Curtis Jenny, who were the main users of the Curtis engine. Right. Uh, it was an American training aircraft. Um, but I'm not sure because literally I got a loose engine that had come out of an aircraft at some stage, but I haven't a clue what it was, I'm afraid. Oh dear. We've got quite a bit of noise around us now as uh, two cars either side have just started up. <laughs> so you're, you're heading out on the track shortly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've been running this car what since 2007 then various yeah. shows and various events last weekend it was at uh, Shuttleworth at the air display there and uh, down the track uh, down the airfield at uh, Shuttleworth yeah okay do you drive it on the road or do you trailer it, it is you are we're very lucky in fact in this country in that there is very little restriction um, you, you can drive it on the road I have driven it on the road. Um, I've even once drove it down King's Road in Chelsea. Really? Um, no, I must admit, it is fairly noisy, so one has to be, have to be a conscious bit, of, the, yeah, yeah. Of, of the locality. Right. Yeah, yeah. But it's certainly very eye-catching when you bring it out to Brooklyn. I know it's been here many, many times. Yeah, thank you. And people always take a good look at it and it look, looks apart with you sitting up high on there well it is it is good fun I, I have a small collection of old very old cars which are very which are very slow mm. I can't even do 20 mile an hour let alone <laughs> uh, 30 um, and this I found as a an ideal alternative as a good fun in one's right. retirement yeah yeah absolutely long may it continue Beautiful car, thanks for showing us around. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you, my John. pleasure.